Hello YouTube and welcome to a short tax loss video on how to reduce or remove the motions on your iPhone. Uh, what do you mean with motions? I mean those animation. If you open an app or close it again, you see this bright, big, but slow animations. They look nice, but they take time. And number one is now how to reduce them. There's an official setting uh, for those things because when you head over to settings, hit general, accessibility and then there's the point reduce motion if you now no reduce motion if you now activate it those sliding in and sliding out animations are gone this is now much faster and it's more like like a fading in and fading out so this is the official part and now we come to the turn off part there's at the moment there's a bug in ios 9 uh, which allows to turn off this emo uh, emotions uh, emotions completely but it's only a bug don't know how long this this will last uh, and if and when apple will patch it so now you have to go again into uh, settings, then general, accessibility, and then scroll down uh, to assistive touch. Then activate assistive touch. You don't need it, you can deactivate it later. And now you got this point here. And now if you slide down for the spotlight search, your keyboard will fade in and the point will move. If you now slide back up, uh, the the, the assistive touch point will move again and this thing sliding up sliding down sliding up sliding down you want to get this point moving and you want to get it moving a lot at least i would have to say 20 times at least maybe 30 times uh, this takes time but after this the the fading in and fading out animations will gone will gone will be gone completely so now if you open an app it will be there instantly and if you close it this will inst be instantly too this is much faster no more animations this is great i never ever had an iphone this was this was reacting that fast and this is just great so now you can deactivate assistive touch again and you're ready to go you've got the fastest iphone there's ever been um it can be if an app if an app crushes uh, that this will be back to settings to normal. Then you have to activate assistive, assistive touch again and do this again. Uh, if you want to get it uh, to rid of it uh, by, on purpose, then you have to shut your iPhone down completely, restart it, and all the settings will be back to normal or this bug, this animation bug will be gone. So this is it. This is just a nice little hint on how to reduce the motion animations uh, or to turn them off completely by using a bug in iOS 9. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!